Hey guys, it's Renee, welcome back. Before we start, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is working on my dough. I do have a recipe on my channel and I'm rolling it with my roller with my space bands on it. And I do have a DIY on my channel, this one, this kind of spacer bands, because they bake everything at the same time, most likely, and they look um, a bit more professional than cookies. So once I have done that, I'm just going to take a knife, this is a regular knife, nothing special, and I'm just going to cut sort of a rectangle in there. And then I'm just going to cut a bunch of lines or just sticks, and just as a reference, I measure it, and this is what I got, one and a half centimeters per seven and a half. But I mean this part is optional, you can make them bigger or smaller. And then I'm just going to bake them for 350 as always with these cookies for no longer than 8 minutes, but just keep an eye on them because every oven is different. Once my cookies are ready for me to decorate, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to be taking my royal icing, I do have a recipe on the channel as well of this one. And I'm just going to work on first the outline real quickly and then the filling. Then I'm just going to be taking my scribe tool. I do have a tutorial on this one as well. Yeah, if you want to check it out, it's going to make your life a lot easier. It's easier uh, if you use a toothpick for this, it's going to save you a lot of like toothpicks because this one you just have to wash once and then you can reuse this. And this is going to help you smooth your cookie and get rid of any air bubbles that your icing might have. Then I'm just going to be taking my sprinkles and I'm just going to take my cookie and just sprinkle a bit of sprinkles in there. If you have like white less sprinkles, I think that would be great because there are a lot of white sprinkles and on top of the white icing, it's like kind of like hard to see it. Then I'm just going to be taking a bunch of gel food colorings. I use the, this brand and I thought I'd show you what colors I use exactly. This red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So some cookies are going to have like sprinkles on them and some others are going to have like hearts on them. And this is one for the hearts. For the hearts, I'm just going to take my icing and this is before my white icing is dry. So we're using this wet on wet technique and we're going to be pretty much adding two dots on the top part kind of separate from each other, kind of with a gap in there, and then a third one on like the bottom part in the middle. So uh, when you gather them, they make a heart. Keep in mind you're working with real icing, it dries super fast, so you wanna go as quickly as you can to just make um, all your hearts like blend with the background. And this is pretty much it for the idea, I just loved it. But I just wanted to share with you how they look like when your background is a dry, you realize on the bottom part, which is pretty much the same as far as for what we're going to be doing with the hearts, we're going to be just shaping them. And in here, I started with the red one and just went to the other uh, like corner. And this is just for like space reasons. This is going to give you a more of a 2D kind of uh, effect because your um, hearts are going to be like on the top of your other realizing as in the previous one it's going to be like blending so it's up to you whether you want to have like your hearts on like the top and to the or just blending and this is kind of a fail one I ended up not liking it so much because of the shape of the hearts using the wet, and wet technique adding a dot in there and then going on the middle part and just dragging a line all the way from top to bottom. As you can see, the consistency of my icing was pretty thick at this point or just getting dry. As a recommendation, if you're going to go for this one, just go ahead and make your icing more loose so you don't have the lime problem. Actually, I got this idea from this blog that I love. The original idea comes in like forks or spoons or something like that, but I just want to try it on cookies. So I hope you like it. And don't forget to, if you did, to give me a thumbs up, share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Also, don't forget to check out my blog. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you like it and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.